dude is just creepy. Yeah, he is. Comfortable in here? Want me to get you a coffee or a soda? No, water's fine, thanks. Sure, I can't get you something to eat from the vending machine? I'd be in here a little while. I'm not six years old. If I didn't intend to talk to you, a candy bar wouldn't incentivize me. See, why if I work on that? As far as I'm aware. Good. So you know, I assumed it was probably a trap at the hospital. And yet, you went in anyway. I didn't have a choice. Really? How you figured that? Play out the logic, Major. Either you were telling the truth, and I had to kill the witness, or you were lying. And if you were lying, it would only be because you were on to me. And if that was the case, then uh, it was only a matter of time before you caught me. So I had nothing to lose. And I'm glad you made the logical choice. So how long has it been that you were on to me? Oh, I've had my suspicions for a few months. You were denied the promotion in October. Your wife died after Christmas. You fit the profile. Problem was, you were too damn good. The only way to get any dirt on you was to play a little dirty myself. So, the arrest of Strand was just pure theater to get me to let my guard down. He approached me the night before, came clean about being attacked in the warehouse right before the fire started. He suspected it was Billy Tyson, but I knew better. Thanks again for that, by the way. You're very welcome. So Billy played Judas, reached out to me, to blame Strand for my own deeds. That is impressive sleight of hand, especially for you. I'm trying to take that as a compliment. Mm. Now, for those deeds of yours, if you wouldn't mind, I'd like you to walk me through them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Getting a little ahead of our skis, aren't we, Major? I thought you said you intended to talk to me. I do. But not just you. I want to talk to Owen Strand. Looks like you're home, New York. Hello, Dennis. Hello, again, Captain Strand. All right, your guest of honor is here. Are we happy? We are very happy. 